Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Clark's Farm. Please don't forget to um, like the videos and subscribe to the channel. You get the notifications of our videos out every Sunday. Um, also, drop any comments you have below. I love the interaction with the comments. It just shows what bit of feedback we can get on it. And it's all appreciated. Um, this week is a slightly different video than what we usually do. Um, I have started into tidying up one of the tractors. Other than get it all fixed up, paint it and tidy it up and do a bit of restoration job on it. Um, So, um, today we have taken in the Massey 372. You probably haven't seen much of this tractor on the channel. Um, done, the, do, done the odd few jobs with it. Like, ever since we got the class, really, this tractor hasn't done so much. She used to do all the feeding at the winter time, used to have a bale spike on her stuff. Da, he would have driven this tractor all the time. It was a bale tractor to drive. It is very simple, it's handy. She'll turn in on herself. The, the, the turn circle is unbelievable on it. Especially the two wheel drives, which is always going to help. But yeah, um, my plan is now to take her in and tidy her up a bit. The wheels to do a bit of paint. Um, she's broke the accelerator cable. I have it jammed up now with the spanner at the minute, just to get her in. Um, the door has broke the hinge of here. So I need to get that fixed. A um, few alley bits in it. This mud guard needs straightened. Uh, this step needs straightened. Uh, anything else now. The fuel gauge isn't working on her. This step here needs to be straightened too. Um, but other than that, she's all there. She's doing everything she should do. She's going well. Um, battery needs charged, obviously. But yeah, so I'm going to take, I'll whip the wheels off, try and straighten them steps, straighten that out mud yard, and get the door fixed in it. Probably, so I'll take the wheels off, I don't know why I did, I'll just rub them down and paint them or blast them, I'm not sure, I can not say that yet. Um, when I have the wheels off, I'll probably just blow the chassis in, just coat paint on the grey, possibly paint the red on the mud yards, and then just when I'm doing the mud yards, do the bonnet. And then if I get that far, and still have an ocean for it I'll possibly just paint the cab I don't know but like it'll only be a tidy up job it's not going to be a full restoration job it's just tidy up it's still um, it's still a good tractor it's, it doesn't need a heap of work under it it just needs a bit of a tidy like it's all good state tracking all 
my it will be my great uncle. Um, he bought this tractor brand new in 1995. Um, I was only five years old at the time. Um, I still have a copy of the original invoice from when she came. I'll put it up here now. Um, but yeah, she, she's in good orders as well. Look after. It's always he was a great man for servicing and keeping stuff right. Um, so he, um, yeah, so we're just going to tidy it up, but fix it up. But the accelerator cable probably one of the first jobs he stuck into, and yeah, see how it goes. Right. So first job here is we'll take the bonnet off. Take these side pans off. Um, gonna get them all painted. You take the grill off here, we get it painted too. This here needs straighten up. I'll see you, but um, see if we can push that out a wee bit. This plastic broke too. I'll see if we can get a plastic for see how much it is. Um, but yeah, the red bits, I wanna get the red bits off first. This in here is gonna need straightened. There's a bolt broken here. Um, so I'm gonna replace that bolt. And then hopefully I'll try, maybe put, put a wee bit of heat on it, put the bottle jack in here and see if I can push it out with the bottle jack. And hopefully that'll be handy enough done. So that's the first job, we'll get all the red bits off first. You could just drink. Right, so we the bonnet off. I had to take that grill off there, so that's really just a plastic piece at the front. And then to take these side panels off, we have to take out this 17 mil belt. And then they just slip out. Um, yeah, so we'll, get, we'll take that 17 mil belt out, and then I'll probably take this this piece here off as well. I notice this uh, further is in bad shape. Um, she's obviously been temporary fixed before, put on with this plastic cover on it, so I'll see if we're getting a proper air filter cover for just to make it a tidier job. Um, yeah, so we'll get this here, whole front, front off here. So that's the three red bits off the front. I'll get these two mud guards off. I'll see if we can straighten this out one first and then I'll get the two mud guards off. I'm gonna drop them away to a man. A friend of mine, he'll paint them for me. And he'll do a nice finish on them. Just the bonnet I'd like to have it it's fairly tidy. The wheels and the chassis and all I'm gonna paint myself. Um but yeah, we'll get him to do that. Right, so we'll take this rest of this nose pun off next. Right, so it comes to take the mud yards off. There is one, two, three bolts. This bolt here, I thought was just broke, but it's actually broke and wrong in the nut. So I'm gonna have to drill that out. Um, so that'd be a lot easier to do with the mud yard off. So what the plan is, obviously I want that bolt in to straighten the mud yard. So I'm gonna put a pair of vice grips on it there. Just clamp it on here and then try and push it out. And maybe put a bit of heat on here. And hopefully it'll straighten out all right. And then there's just uh, what is it, two bolts in here, and this here, all the yard off, hopefully, as easy as that.
that did take it out nicely. And it's just a wee slight curve on it there. So I'm hoping if I put enough heat behind the bag, I can get a lump of timber and put a hammer down with this still on here and this still on here. It should sit in and out, hopefully. But it has, I think it's out the right angle there now. It looks to be fairly good. Um, yes, yeah, good job there. Now, she's not perfect, but she's close enough. Better than it was. So, we'll get this bolted off here now. I'll get these left off your paint a bit. So that's the mud got off now. Um, I went there and took off the other side as well. That's all the red bits slipped off her. Um, I'll leave you out leave where I paint it. Next mission I think is going to be taking fixing the hinge in the door. Um, I don't know how to take the door off or try and fix it up on there. Um, I know there's a hole in that, but that hole. There's a plate that goes on top of that, um, so I don't even know if that's rotted through or not. I need to just have a bit of an inspection on that one. Um, yeah, another thing I noticed is the daisy gauge never worked on that tractor, and there is the wires for it. But there's three wires and only one plug coming out of the daisy gauge, so that's something I need to look at too. Um, also, there's rubber sits on here. They seem to be all fairly wore through. Maybe they're not too bad. Down there sits like new, and there's all squashed. Yeah, they're not doing much like. So, I maybe had a look at new ones them as well. This job just escalates and escalates the way we're going on. Um, but yeah, we'll see about this door here next. Uh, so, next bit of the puzzle is, I'll take these. Leg covers off this plastic bit here. Um, all on these mud yards is obviously done with like body shoots or something, so I'll do all that. I'll uh, get body shoots again, I'll paint all that just to freshen up as well. Um, and keep, stop it from rusting and keep it, keep it good. Um, so, yeah, so we get these here off at least. There's one last bit of the mask off. Um, so, there's only three, I think it's three bolts there, and then this plug in the lights um, should hopefully come apart handy enough. All being well. So I took into separating that plug and it was an absolute nightmare. There's three wee catches on it and trying to push them all in the one time is just not an easy job. And um, but we got it in the end. So I'll just take these three bolts out here now.
Um, I'm going to see if we can stick these steps now. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'm going to try and pull it with the digger. Um, as the gas starts at me, in case I need to heat it as well. I'll see how this goes. Right, so got it well sitting up. Um, the plan is now though is to try and twist this round, maybe cut this off and put another strip of steel here, and a bit of flat plate just across here and we'll weld it on. But um, we need to get the welder out for that, and the welder is out now at the minute, so that is put off to another day. Um, next thing is the door. I took off the strut there, so I got the door closed properly. Um, and looking at it there, I still might take it off and weld up that and do a nice job of it. Um, so yeah, I think I'll just take the door off here now. And at least when the welder comes back then we can get stuck in the weld and that. Yeah, we'll take it off. Now, so with the door off, should bad enough state that I don't know if that's wore through or what happened there. But there's the other hinge there, so and, um, my other fear is if I weld a piece in that, is it gonna melt all the rubber in the flat in the glass, have to put new rubbers in there? Which is something I wasn't planning to do. Um yeah, so I'm gonna have to make a decision on that. Hmm. Oh, we'll see what the plan is. Um, so, next job is, I think, taking the wheels off. I don't know how that's going to go. I hope when the impact gun they take these wheel nuts off. Please God. But yeah, we'll get the forklift in, lift the back, wrap the back wheels off. I think I'll maybe do the front wheels for it. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll do something. So I just like to crack them off before I put the jack on them at least. I know all is going to come off, so I'll pull the jack in here now, get her jacked up, get them wheels ripped off. So that's it jacked up. I've axis stands in, I've blocks in, I've the jack left in as well. It's well blocked up at the front as well too. Just in case for this thing to be sitting here for a lot of days or probably a week or so. Don't want anything to happen. Golf forbid, touch wood. At least you know she's safe, she's not going to be in the happening. So we'll whip the wheels off now. And yeah, we're we'll getting ready for fan blast.
Right guys, unfortunately that's all we have time for this week. Uh, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, you get notifications to our video out every Sunday. Um, drop any comments you have below, see what you think of the tractor, what you think we're doing. Um, any tips or advice on it, it's all appreciated. Um, also, check out the website for merch. There has been a big discount put on a lot of the stuff, so yeah, check it out. Get good deals on it. Um, yeah, so that's all from us. All the best now. Good luck. You say bye bye.